Many discoveries have perpetuated his name. But one of his most famous experiments was conducted with a simple piece of equipment, a large burning glass. With the glass, he focused heat from the sun's rays on a tube containing some red powder floating on mercury metal. The heat decomposed. Recently discovered that a gas had formed as the red powder decomposed. tested some of the properties of the gas. He was thrilled to find that a glowing ember held in the gas burst into flame and burned with unusual intensity. He had discovered one of the most important gases in nature. But it remained for a Frenchman to offer an acceptable explanation of Priestley's observations. It was Antoine Lavoisier who repeated Priestley's experiments and conducted others. He sealed some tin and air inside a glass flask and measured the total weight. Then he heated the flask containing the tin and air for several hours. A coating of white powder formed on the surface of the tin during the heating. Lavoisier reasoned that the tin must have combined with something out of the air that was in the flask. If so, there should be no change in the total weight. To check his reasoning, he again weighed the flask and found that the total weight had not changed. Lavoisier explained that oxygen, an element from the air, had combined with another element, in this case, tin, to form a compound. This combining of an element with oxygen is called oxidation. 